Well, for Stephanie Browett, the past two and a half years have been a balance of gratitude and grief, surviving the White Island volcano disaster, while at the same time mourning the loss of her sister and dad. It's been just over two and a half years, but the horror of this day lingers. 22 people killed when New Zealand's White Island volcano erupted. Stephanie Browett was holidaying with her family when disaster struck. My whole body was being shoved and pushed and rolled onto the ground. I was just hitting things while getting burnt at the same time. Miraculously, she survived. But sadly, her father Paul and sister Crystal didn't. Stephanie spent two weeks in a coma, suffering burns to 70% of her body. She's come so far since that day, finally able to remove her compression mask and face the world. It's an incredible milestone, one she says is all thanks to skin tissue donors who gave her a second chance at life. And we're so pleased to say that Steph joins us now from Melbourne. Steph, good morning to you. It's an incredible recovery you've had. Uh, first and foremost, how are you? Well, good morning, guys. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Um, you know, I'm doing as OK as I can be. I still struggle quite a lot, but I try to make the most of every day because I'm very grateful for my second chance at life. Mm -hmm. And I want to be able to honour those, the generous donors who did give me skin tissue donation and their families. And I, I want to get to those donors in just a moment because it's, it's also an issue very close to, to my heart. Um, but I, do, I remember the 60 Minutes piece you did with Sarah Arbo mm -hmm. where, when you took off your mask for the first time, that compression mask. Mm -hmm. That was a few weeks ago now. It was so powerful. I remember being so emotional watching it. Can I ask, has that experience been easier or, or harder than you expected? It was quite daunting at the beginning, mm. but since taking all of my compression garments off, I do feel a lot more free and feeling like myself again. They were quite uncomfortable and hard to put up with and tight. I mean, they had to be, otherwise they weren't doing their job. But they were very painful and caused a lot of horrible days. So I'm very glad that I can now express myself through mm. my wardrobe and my makeup and I don't feel like it's holding me back anymore. And through your wonderful smile, which we're seeing as well. Yeah. Well, it is Donate Life Week, something that's obviously close to your heart. Tell us about how donations have helped your recovery. Yes, so I receive skin tissue donations from multiple donors and I needed that because when I was severely burnt, um, Obviously, when you have so many open wounds, you're at a higher risk of infection and you're also leaking bodily fluids. And there was not enough of my own good skin to use to cover those areas. So that's where donated skin comes in. And it acts as a temporary biological dressing to prevent infection and also uh, give me back that protective layer until they can perform mm. a final skin graft with my own skin. And, and, and so this is the issue too, isn't it? Because I know that it, it is still a big drama in, in Australia. I think at one point they're looking overseas for donors for you, um, for your skin, because they just don't have, don't have it here. And when mm -hmm. you talk to people, I think most people you talk to, and so my sister had a an or, double organ transplant eight years ago, which saved her life. Um, mm. And eight years on, she's now got another little baby. Um, she's got a gorgeous girl, Livy, who's 12 as well. Got, so they've got this wonderful family it's life beautiful. because of a, a, well, as she calls them, her angel donor. And I think most people say that they'll be a donor and want to help, but so many haven't registered. And that's the problem, mm -hmm. isn't it? Like how you get people across the line and realise you actually have to go online and register to give yes. the gift of life, which is something you know firsthand. Well, that's right. We know that four in five Australians support organ and tissue donation, yet there are still 13 million eligible Australians who are yet to sign up. And I think that is the issue. People want to do it and do support it, but then they tell themselves they'll do it later or mm. they'll, you know, they'll do it later and then they procrastinate and forget. But it, it's really quick and it only takes one minute. So, you know, you can do it right now, you can do it while you're having breakfast. It just takes one minute and it's very easy to do. Steph, it strikes me that, as you said, 80% of people support this and there are some that don't and, you know, for their own reasons. But it, would it work better if this was a system you opted out of, given the majority of people support it, rather than one you opt into? 
I believe so. I, I know many other countries overseas have that and it seems to be working well. Um, I think we should have that system in Australia. And, and that's it. I mean, you look at places like Spain where they, they do opt out and it's very different. You've also got the issue here in Australia that states and territories all have their different rules and trying to get mm -hmm. everyone on board. Um, is, is the tricky part. It's just going to take a little bit more work. Um, but your, your mask is off now. You're driving again. Can I ask, are there any other big milestones that you're looking forward to? Well, I'm hoping that I can get a career in what I graduated in, which is media and arts, film and TV. Um, that's been my passion since I was a child. But I'd also like to land a role in motivational speaking because I hope that mm. by sharing my experience, I can give hope to others and show them that there is a light at the end of a tunnel? I think all of that yeah. is achievable. Um, you know, we need to talk in the air break, sister. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think Thank you. All the things you're talking about now are all things that are, you know, which, which all make a whole lot of sense. You're so inspiring. Um, and we Thank really you. appreciate you coming on and talking to us today. And, and good to see you doing so well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the time and being able to raise awareness about the importance of organ and mm. tissue donation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it only takes one minute to sign up. You can do it at donatelife.gov.au or it's just three taps if you have the Medicare app. You can go in and do it. It is simple there. as that. And Please do. Not just saves lives, but revigorates lives. Yeah. Absolutely. It's